Welcome to the College Lady Transition to College video series. This video focuses on setting yourself up for academic success as you head to college. Please watch and discuss with your parents. By now, you may have already attended your orientation, either virtually or in person, or at least have it scheduled. There, you are likely to get a full introduction to the academic services provided by your school, and you may also have your first semester classes scheduled. You should definitely take full advantage of all orientation services and opportunities, as they are designed to contribute to your success as a student on that campus. Among the academic services that might be introduced include a writing center, peer tutoring or study partners, supplemental instruction, and more. Most campuses offer a wealth of programs to help you succeed academically. Please take advantage of them. Why not get free help to make your coursework easier? You'll want to schedule writing center and tutoring appointments early and not wait until the end of the semester or the day before a paper is due when everyone else is doing it. Once classes start, your professors are likely to tell you their office hours. Plan on attending them at least once a semester for each class as a way of getting to know your professor. This can come in handy later if you need additional help or understanding, say for an extended illness. Down the road, professors can also be a primary resource for job leads and or recommendation letters. Don't panic if school seems tough at first or if you are not earning the grades you are used to getting in high school. College is a completely different ballgame. I can remember feeling completely overwhelmed by the amount of reading my first semester classes were requiring and thinking that there was just no way I would get it all done. It will take some adjusting, but with some concentrated effort, you will figure it out. All the more reason to plan on taking advantage of professor office hours and other academic services as soon as classes start. Also, speaking of job leads, as I mentioned earlier, it's never too early to visit your school's career center. You should plan to do so at least once a semester, starting your freshman year. They can help with identifying internships, preparing your resume for summer work, and practicing interviews. It's good to have a clear idea of what you can start doing early in your college career to set you up for job success down the road. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about the information presented here or in any of the other videos, please contact the College Lady by going to the website www.thecollegelady.com. There is a link in the credits that will take you to the website and a page that has all the pertinent URLs you will want to access. And please watch the other videos in this series and like, subscribe, and share with other students who are headed to college.